Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Halatau, which is one of my favourite games from last year. It's a game by Uwe Rosenberg, all about farming and sheep raising and playing a lot of groovy cars and sliding this building along a piece of cardboard. It's great, trust me. I'm playing a solo game today. I did a two-player playthrough at the end of last year, which will be linked in the description, but one of the most popular options for my monthly patron vote is was uh, Halatau solo so i am playing with different card sets the gateway cards have different card sets for difficulties i'm playing on the master one because the, the two-player playthrough i did i did the easiest cards the ones it recommends for your first game i thought i'd just flip it and do the hardest ones so this is the master set the stable cards are just themed i think so this is the jewelry set rather than a particular difficulty uh, the thing that changes for one player, as for all the player counts, it depends on how many of these quadrants are cleared out. So the game starts with a worker on every part of every action on the action board, but you draw one of these quadrant cards and it tells you, based on your player count, which ones to clear out. So the more players there are, the more quadrants will get cleared out. In this case, it was just quadrant four that starts with no workers on it. So just before we get started, there is a handheld and a static camera. You can switch between them in the description based on what you'd prefer. I recommend you turn the subtitles onto the Klingon channel because any mistakes I make will get corrected. They're all nice. And if you would like to help me keep making playthroughs, it's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. Thank you very much to everyone that helps there already. You made this possible. So let's go. I will, if you haven't seen the original playthrough, I will explain what I'm doing as we go along. And hopefully it won't be <laughs> too annoying for people that already know. Hey. We gotta, we gotta explain it, haven't we? So we have a round overview here. You can just go through just the pictures if you remember what they do, but I'll just go through them. So round phase one has already been done in the setup. Uh, it, it concerns how many spaces are cleared off the board. Phase two, move the current farmyard card off the stable board, remove any sheep from it and place workers on it according to the number in the window. So these are the cards on here. Over the course of the game, we'll get sheep, and those sheep will die if the card that they are on is removed. So any sheep we get now, you can see this arrow, are put on this card. So in round four, they will be removed and they will die. So I get this card now. Over here, we can see the community center and that I'm going to get six workers per round. You can see that through the window there. Uh, one of the main objectives of the game is to move these workshops along by giving them resources. And as soon as you've moved every workshop along a space, the... Town Hall will move as well, and you'll get more and more workers up to the point that you get 12. Then you start getting points instead of more workers. Up to, is it like 70 points? Yeah, 70 points if you can get if you can get it the whole way around. It's going to take a lot of resources, though. Phase 3, we activate our bonus cards. We will find cards later, I don't have any right now, that will provide bonuses that will trigger every Phase 3 of every round that will give you more resources and things, maybe more fields, but I haven't got any of those out yet, of course. And then Phase 4, the main chunk of the game, is actions. So I have six workers to place, and all of these spaces to place them in. So Quadrant 4 is completely empty. If I want to do an action in Quadrant 4, it's just going to cost me one worker. But you can see above that it's going to cost two, and then three. So the more you want to repeatedly do an action, the more expensive it's going to get, and only one row of workers is removed each round, and in a one-player game, only from one quadrant. Let's take a look at my starting cards and see if that gives us anything to work towards. So we do start with one points card, and that's something that you can spend goods for. There are two types of card, basically. If you see this notepad, it's just have these things, you don't need to spend them. And if it's got this arrow, it's spend them to get this thing. So if I can spend four each of three types of goods, and there are a lot of types of good in this game, if I can spend four each of three types, I'll get eight points. Not a lot of points, but later on in the game, I'll hopefully have a lot of goods that that won't be such a big deal. So have a lot of crops of a single type. I can get some milk and more cards. If I have a lot of workers on the nursery space, which is a good space to get uh, clay and crops, or, well, all crops, if I have loads of works on there, so if that gets filled up, I could get seven meat. That could be quite nice. Uh, one of your craft buildings is three, four, or five spaces ahead of another. These are the craft buildings. So you'll see how they move along later in the round. Uh, if I put one really ahead of another one, then I can get a load of brick. Uh, I obtain tools in this action phase. There are ways of getting tools. Cards and things will give you tools, but one of the main ways is that I can spend workers. Rather than placing them on here, you can spend workers. One worker gets you one tool, and tools are used to move these boulders that help you move these craft buildings along. 
If I do that, I can get a load more cards if I get a load of tools in this phase. So yeah, more difficult cards, not anything that I see really easily doing very quickly, unless you know, I could hand this in now and just get another card and no meat. I'd really like to fill the nursery space up though and just get seven meat out of nowhere, that would be fantastic. I will need my starting resources though, a barley, a flax, and a rye. So what I could do here, a, a cheap action that has started the game here, move up to two of your empty fields into row five, and then sow something. So to sow something, you take one of that resource, and your resources basically move up this track as a counter. You spend a resource and plant it, and then at the end of this round, you're going to get that many of the resource back. It shows you how effective your fields are. If you lay them fallow, and don't plant anything in them in this round, they are going to become more effective next time you use them in the next round. If you do plant stuff in them, they will decrease in effectiveness. So what this would do is allow me to move two empty fields up into row five, shoot these right up there, and I could plant something. I think I'm going to do that. That's one of my workers. And what would I like to plant? Now, I do need a lot of resources to do all of this. I think let's, let's plant some barley to start with. Why should we get these names wrong? I had all the names of the resources in my head. So you get when you <laughs> play it for a little bit. Playthrough was the last time I played it. Uh, so, I think now, oh, don't have to do anyone else's turn, it's just my turn again. I think we could start building up the nursery because it's good to have clay anyway. I can choose three clay or three crops. Crops are the three things that I started with, as well as hops. Basically, things you can plant are crops. But I'm going to start with clay. So three clay there. Can't plant clay, of course. Well, you can, but it doesn't do anything. So I've got three workers left. I think I should think about getting some sheep because it's it's one worker action. I can get a sheep and a leather that goes in my storage and the sheep goes on card number four. And so I either need to do something with that sheep or make them gain, gain around so they go into the stable because then they'll be worth some points. There are actions like small trade and sheep shearing that among other things, lets you give a sheep an extra round. So now I would like to go to the tool shed because it's so cheap still, but I would like to get some things planted as well. The town hall is useless to me in round one. The town hall is fantastic later on. It lets you move a craft building to the left if there's space, so the opposite of what you normally want to do, but it gives you jewellery, and jewellery is basically a wild card. You see that these are going to get crazy expensive as the game goes on to move forward. Jewellery is just a wild card. Spend one jewellery, move a building forward. It's fantastic, but not very good for us now. I'm thinking I've got two fields that aren't planted. The tool shed would be great for I could get another field that goes into row four that would be very nice. But I could also get something planted, which might be nicer. Or, of course, I could get tools. Obtaining one tool, obtaining three tools would have been great because to, to move buildings forward, you need to pay some resources. But then, as well as the resources, if they encounter a boulder, you need to spend a tool to move that boulder. And then if you want to move the building again, it's two tools to move the boulder. Tools refresh every round, but... And so are great to have early. If I want to move things ahead, maybe I shouldn't have gotten a sheep. Yeah, let's try this out. Let's take that back. I'm not going to have a sheep and a leather. I'm going to do something that I don't feel very confident doing. <laughs> but let's try it out. I'm going to spend my three workers just on tools so we've got some early tools in there and so phase four that we're in now obtained one three or five tools during this phase i've obtained three which means i can get myself a gateway card this is another one of these and i can get myself a stall card so the gateway card i get is played this card in round one or two or three to six and the effect is always the same. Move each of up to three boulders, one space to the right. That's cool. Not so great because I've bought tools that can do that, but it'll be, uh, it'll be good later on. Uh, the later I leave it, the more cards I will get in replacement for playing this. So that could be really good later when I need loads of boulders moving. Uh, I've done that card. You, you save your completed cards because some cards want to know how many cards you played. Let's look at the stall card. Have five sheep. And this is a bonus card, so this will trigger every phase three. I will get a wool, and it's worth two points at the end of the game. Why bonus cards are so fantastic. It's ongoing effects and points. 
So that is all of my stuff now. Do I want to use any of these things? Now, this one is brown because it concerns the central action board. I already said, you know, have this many workers on there, but that's why it's that color. So I could hand this in. There are three workers on the space. I would get two meat and a card. Or do I want to wait until next round? Use three of my workers on there and get seven meat. It's a lot of meats. But at the same time, we might draw the quadrant card that clears quadrant two and gets rid of two of my workers on there. So I wouldn't be able to build it up. I'm going to do it now. Get two meat and another card. There's the meat and the card is spend two meat. Oh, I think I've got to do this, haven't I? Spend two meat to get a sheep every round. Yeah. Now cards, it's not always, but often cards can be played at any time, even if it's not your turn in a multiplayer game. And so later on, say if I was going to earn uh, barley from harvesting and I needed barley for a card, I could play that bonus card later on. Like if, if there was some magical way I could get five sheep, I could play it at the end of the round. Any time, even during the bonus phase, you can play one of these cards and it will still trigger. Uh, but I'm going to spend that meat right away. And I'll put my bonus cards up here. Is there space on the static camera? Yes, there is. Pop it all the way up there. And I've earned myself two points right there. And I'll get a sheep. I am kind of wasting my fields a little bit, though, I feel now. Okay, I don't think we're doing anything else with these cards. So, so now phase five. Take the farmyard card next to your stable board into your hand. So the one that had our workers on it. And this is spend a jewellery to get a level four field and so in a field. That's quite cool. Phase six, move each empty field one row up and exactly one empty field up a second time. I can't do that, so I'm wasting a bit of movement, but I've got very good fields for next time. Seven is harvest. Harvest your planted fields. So you basically just move the goods right into there. So I've basically turned one barley into five and now the field slides down a step because it's not as effective now. And then I get a milk for every sheep. Didn't get a sheep. And then simultaneously, we would all do our craft buildings. So the craft buildings. The round tells you how expensive it is to move a craft building. In round one, it's just one good per space. So the, the best value you're ever going to get in the game. But there are restrictions. So for carpentry, you need to pay more clay than wheat. That basically means in the first few rounds, you have to just pay clay. Because if you can only pay one good, then there's no way that you could do more wheat than clay, is there, if you can just do one. So it's one clay for that. Same as this, it's, it's one rye for the brew house, either a meat or a milk for the cooling house, a wheat, a rye, or a flax for the bake house. Maximum one flax later in the game when we need multiple goods. And either a flax, a leather, or a wool for the manufacturer. Now, if I'm willing to wait a bit and not gain any workers this round... I'm kind of feeling that I could just spend, say, all of my clay, because you can't plant clay anyway, and move this one, two, three spaces forward. Is that right? I moved it one, two, three spaces. There we go. Yeah, moved it an extra one by accident. If I move it three spaces forward, that's going to take three tools, because it was one space, which cost one clay. Next space costs a tool to move that boulder along and another clay so i've spent one of my tools remember they don't go away you just need to note that i've used that this round i can't use it again this round in the final round using them spends them because leftover ones are worth some points uh, so and then again it costs a clay to try and move it again so i have no clay now and then two tools because you're moving two boulders and the reason i want to do that is because one of my craft buildings is now three spaces ahead of another. I could try and wait for it to be further ahead, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I am just going to get three more clay and another card, I think. Now I could, you know, have moved more boulders another space and got it four spaces, but I don't think that's worth it. I would have had to do it with, say, the bakehouse that could have used loads of wheat, but no, I don't think I want to. I'm definitely going to do get three clay right back and a card which is going to be three rye that you just harvested spend that three rye 
and it's a bonus card, you get to sow a rye every round in the bonus phase, and it's three points. No way I could do that right now, because I didn't plant any rye. So let's look at the others. I don't really want to do the brew house, because it would be my last rye. I could get some more back. Maybe I do want to move the building. I forgot that I could just play the card at any time. I thought I was going to have to leave one behind, but that's even better. Unfortunately, though, I got rid of all my meat, didn't I? So I can't move the cooling house. Let's see, the bake house, I have a wheat to move, so that's no problem at all. It's not a wheat, is it? Barley. <laughs> and uh, manufacture. I don't have anything to move the manufacturer. I do have my starting flax. Maybe while they're just one each, maybe I want to do this, and I'm going to have to waste a bit of time doing moves to get crops to plant them again because I've spent everything. You want to try and make sure you don't spend all of a crop so that you can just plant what you've got left. I've been a little bit wasteful here. That's phase nine, then phase 10, rearrange the boulders so they are two and four spaces away. So that's another reason you want to try and move your buildings when you can, because not only is it cheaper, it's only going to get more expensive as the rounds go on. Uh, you also get you know, free movement of these boulders. All of the ones that I've moved get some free boulder movement. Like this has had, this is so far along now, isn't it? I, I could kind of leave carpentry alone for a while now. I'm hopefully not going to. So that's what I've done. I've given up the opportunity to get more workers to have a load of cards kicking off. And hopefully it's going to work out for me. Okay then, so that's round one. So we are on to round two out of six. We need to draw a quadrant card. Now you're going to get to see it. So this is how we remove the workers from the quadrant. It's number one. So I could maybe have waited on the nursery. So I didn't go into quadrant one, so that means that all of these starting workers get cleared out and all of these spaces, sheep breeding, sheep shearing, are now open and now dirt cheap to use. Okay, next step, move the farmyard card down and get your workers onto it. So I need six workers again. And then it's bonus card time. I get myself a free sheep and it comes into this card because it's round two now. And now it is action time. So we need things planting, don't we? Now a free space out here is sowing four things. So I think a good plan would be to gain some crops somehow. Now the cheapest way of doing that is I think small trade. I could gain the rye and barley that I haven't got. Downside of that is I wouldn't get any hops to plant. But it could still be good. I could get... Now, I can plant four things, so I could do with an extra field. Now, I could get... You know, at the tool shed, I could get a size four field. And that only cost me one worker. I could get a size four field. And then get some crops and then plant some things. So that would cost me one, two, three, four workers. If I wanted the extra crop, the hops, that I haven't got any of yet... I don't really need it yet because the brew house is the only place that has it and I can't I, I can't use it yet. So in round two, you need to pay two goods per movement in the craft houses. And if you need to pay more rye than hops, that's still no hops because one of each isn't more more rye than hops, is it? Uh, so maybe I'd do without, yeah. Because I could, I could get three crops up at the nursery, but that's going to cost me an extra worker. So I think that's a decent plan i'm going to go for small trade that gets me two crops i'm going to go for the flax and the rye that i spent all of last round then i'm going to come to the tool shed and i can either have four bricks or a level four field i'm going to grab that level four field and then i'm going to do some farming so i could have a level five field or so four things that's what i'm going to do i kind of want to do right yeah i'm going to do rye and flax the most and then I'm going to spend a wheat, so slide it down and grab another one, plant that. I'm going to do another. It's not wheat, is it? It's barley. I can only think of wheat. Because maybe I try and build up to 10, 16, or 23 barley. What would I have after this? I'd have 8, 10 of it. I could hand it in for a milk and a new card. I also want to try and get some sheep, don't I? So I don't really need tools anymore. I think three will do me for now. I could move a craft building to the left and get some jewellery, I would be able to get another field and plant something straight in it and have a jewellery left over for later. Do you know what? I think I'm going to do that. But also, what, what else could I do? 
I can gain a sheep at the sheep market. I could gain a card. I always like cards. I'm going to gain a card and see what that lets me do. And then we'll see what I do with the last uh, worker. So this is, in phase four, have six, seven, or eight fields. One, two, three, four. Okay, that, that seals it. I'm working up my fields. Town hall, I'm going to move the bakehouse back and get two jewellery. That's tracked in the jewellery box, so I've got two of that now. But I'm going to spend one straight away on this card. So spend the jewellery to get a level four field, and you can sew in it right away. Again, not going to plant the bricks. The only thing I've got to plant right now is barley, so let's plant it. So I would have 13, not quite enough to be super exciting, but I've now got five fields close to being able to use this card. Okay, so that's all of my workers. I can't play anything else, can I? Maybe I want to move some boulders, but we'll see later on. I can play it in round two and get another card, but if I wait till next round, I can get two cards. Marty's come to join us to nose in the window and mess with the light in the room. Hey, that's what Marty does. In this new house, anyway. So, yes, that's all of my workers and card business, I think. So I can take the farmyard card and see what it is. Spend three hops to get a tool and a jewellery. For that, though, I'm going to need some hops, aren't I? Okay, next is fields that are fallow move up. That is nothing. So we're going to harvest instead. Get a ton of crops, but also lose the effectiveness of loads of the fields. But doesn't say these eight fields need to be effective. And maybe we'll leave some empty for next round. Now, a milk for every sheep that you have. So I get a milk, which actually, I forgot to get any meat or milk or anything. So it's a good job that I got that sheep for free. So I didn't, yeah, I didn't go to the sheep market, did I? Because I got a card instead. Oh, well, hopefully all of this works out. Then I need to move my craft building. So definitely move the cooling house forward by paying the milk. That's all I can do with that one. Oh, no, it's two. It's two, isn't it? Oh dear, this might just be a, a great big mess up. Or do I use my jewellery? So you want to start getting more workers, don't you? I do have the clay to move this along. I feel like you might as well, while it's kind of cheap and the bowlers will move themselves along. I can't afford to move that anymore. I can't, oh, get this out. When we harvested this, don't forget this. Three, three rye that you just harvested. Spend it. Okay, so I've only got two rye. And then I'll be able to plant a rye every round. But that makes me think, don't move the brew house. Because then I won't have any rye. Oh, no. Okay, so we can't move this. I felt a lot better about the other playthrough. <laughs> I felt I was doing a lot better there. I can... I can move this just with two barley. I've got so much barley that it doesn't really matter. I'm... Going to spend the jewellery. Oh, it feels like such a waste, but I'm going to spend the jewellery so that the, the community centre can start moving and I get an extra worker every round. I kind of feel like I can plant it all again next round. I feel like just spending more and more barley. So there's a tool to move the bakehouse along. Just because I've got these tools that need using and I can't move these buildings or this one. So yeah, I'm going to spend two more and my other two tools to move it again. Because this is good as well for having buildings to be able to move, move, be moved back for the town hall. Okay, not feeling great so far, but hey, things can only get better, right? So we need to rearrange the boulders. That is the end of my building movement, I think. And yeah, two buildings didn't move at all. And then, oh yeah, we could move more boulders for free, up to three boulders. So I wouldn't get the best use out of that because I only needed two more boulders moving and I could have moved the big house again. I'll save that. Save that. Because in round three, it will get me two more cards. Okay. So yeah, we've rearranged the boulders. It's the next round. It's time for round three. The quadrant card says quadrant one or two is getting moved. Oh, I haven't got a die to hand, have I? Two dice, the first game that I came to. Uh, so we've got odds or evens to decide which one's getting cleared out. And it is evens, sector two, which actually I'd much prefer to happen because three of the spaces here are still empty, although I would like some more cards. So let's see, these just get cleared off and just the top row of the nursery gets cleared off. Then I need a farmyard card and seven workers on it now rather than my 
previous six. Then it's time for bonus. I can get a sheep. Great. And so a barley, a rye. I'm gonna mix those two up now. Uh, let's put it. Let's put it in number four. Maybe we're gonna be able to. Maybe we'll do some fertilizing to put some of these back up to row five. Who knows? Okay. Next up, it's action time. So what was the grand plan? So what's just become free? The busy weekend, get a milk or a wool, and sow two things. The butchery, get a load of meat by killing a sheep. I could do sheep shearing, get a wool per sheep, and the sheep gains a round, so it would be safe. Clearing, get another... I kind of feel like clearing is decent. So clearing here gets me another field, which I do want, just a level two field. And some clay, but if I'm going to do fertilizing, that could be one of the ones that goes straight to level five. So I've now got six fields. If I wait until I've got more fields, then I'll get more cards from this. I think I might wait. Oh, I'm forgetting. I'm going to do a take back. I do apologize, everyone. I've got loads of flax, haven't I? This would have been flashing in neon subtitles if it was possible. I could have moved that forward, which also means I could maybe have moved the manufacturer in the bakehouse forward a bit more. But hey, let's not let's not go crazy, you know, by spending this. I'll maybe spend that this round now I'll, I'll get the full cards from it. Just thinking I kind of want some more crops because I haven't got any hops and I want hops. I'm going to get some more crops. Crops for hops. So the cheapest is the nursery. Three crops. I'm going to grab a hops. I'm going to grab another hops. I need rye kind of the most, don't I? I'm going to grab a hops. Another rye, although I do have some planted. And let's just get a barley. A flax. I'll just say the wrong thing for what I'm looking at. Okay. So we've got four workers left. I don't particularly feel like I need more fields. I would like some more sheep. And I don't have a lot of milk. Though having more sheep is going to get me more milk. Because I want to build up to five sheep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get sheep. I also, having said that, feel like going to the butchery because that would give me a load of meat to be able to move the cooling house. But I will have... You know, to move the cooling house, you need either three goods or two goods if you're using two types. You get a bit of a discount for diversity of good. I've got three workers left, so I could butcher and then just hope to get some more sheep later on. I do get one every round, don't I? It's just that it's a bonus of getting a wool every round, which is quite nice. I do want to plant because it's going to be a busy weekend. So I'm going to get a milk for that. I can get a milk or wool and then plant two things. I want to keep planting barley to try and get to a good amount of it. And I also want to plant some hops. Maybe I'm not going to do any fertilizing. I'll plant the hops in more because I, want to sp I need to spend three of it straight away on this if I want to do this card. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I have two workers left. Do I want to do some butchery? Or do I want to do some sheep breeding? I do have two milk. And maybe hang on to the sheep for now to build up to that magic five. Yeah, I'm going to because... So spend two milk to get one sheep or four milk to get two sheep. I'm going to spend my two milk to get one sheep because that's four sheep now. That's going to be four milk in the milky phase and then in the bonus phase next time the sh the bonus card there will give me the fifth sheep which means i can play this in the same bonus phase and start getting some wool and it's some more points so for one worker i can get a card get three clay get four wool and a sheep gains a round i do always lean towards just grabbing more cards well, I feel like the sheep shearing is a good way to go. So that's going to be four wool. And I'm going to have one of these sheep gain around because maybe that sheep isn't going to be here that long. So that sheep is now worth a point as long as it uh, stays around. I don't think I'm going to play any of these. So you have to play this in phase four. I kind of want to wait until I've got more fields so that I can move more buildings. I'm just going to leave it at that, I think. Then, yeah, I didn't go to the town hall or anything. Okay, so get my card. 
and that's going to be a total of tools and jewelry equal to the number in the window. So that's just have that stuff, and then get three barley and uh, another cord. Then fields that laid fallow. I do have fields that were fallow. They all go up one, and one goes up an extra one. I think I'm going to have that one go up an extra one. It's your choice which one. So then harvest your planted fields, and they go down one. I think I should have played this when I had 10 rather than trying to wait. I think it's going to be hard to get back up there. Okay, I can just play it, of course, get nothing from it and just get another card. But I'm going to hang out. I'm going to hold hold out for it. Hang out. Uh, and then four milk. So that's decent, I think. Milk for each sheep. So now it's my craft buildings. And it costs three goods or two goods if you're using two types. I'm going to move this because I can afford two clay and one barley. We'll move that. That's the... Oh, no, it's just one clay, one barley, isn't it? So I could move it again. Oh, okay, that feels better. Do I want to spend... I think I do want to spend the three hops to get a tool and a jewel and a new card. Uh, so that's spend three clay. Ooh, I didn't have three clay, did I? That's maybe something to do next round. A clay and a wheat every round and three bonus points. I don't have any meat, so I can't get the disc out here. So I'm just going to spend three milk. One, two, three. Just so it moves once. And then, do I want to spend the hops? If I spend the hops, I've got to do an action to get the crops. <laughs> so I don't think I want the discount here either. I'm just going to spend one, two, three rye to move it once. So now the town hall <laughs> grinds onwards uh, and will now give me eight workers. Let's see, manufacturer, I do have some flax, don't I? I just have one leather. I can, I can earn that in other ways. It's When it's not a crop, it doesn't matter so much about using your last one of it. And I've got loads of wool. I only need to spend two things though, don't I? Why don't we keep the flax? Because that's a planted thing, isn't it? And this is the only use here anyway for leather and wool. So I'm just going to use one leather, one wool. And now we have tools that we can get used. So we could do the flax and the wool to keep the disc out. And that's going to be one of the tools. The bakehouse hasn't moved yet. We could do a flax and a barley to move that. No tools yet. Cooling houses, that's it. We haven't got any meat now, unless we want to use the jewellery. And I don't, really. I want to maybe use the jewellery later on when it's going to be a better discount and maybe try and do this. I need eight now. I've moved the window. So I've got four, five with the jewellery. If we can use the town hall, that would be six, seven, and then use one worker to get a tool. And then that's done. Three barley and another card. Okay, so what else is going to move? I've got loads of tools. I could do this again. What? Yeah, I'm going to do that. One brick, one barley. So that's done with now. I've got no more bricks. I know. I can't get the discount, can I? I've already done the discount, so I'm going, to, I'm going to take that back. Yeah, I would have had to spend both of my clay. That would have been a subtitle, but I've just remembered. Yeah, I wouldn't be eligible for the discount, so I would just... Yeah, it would be two clay and a wheat just to move it once. Did I get the discount there? I didn't get the discount. Good because I wasn't eligible for it yet. Next round, though. Oh. These are the best in round three, and so I've forgotten. I was, I was too driven by getting my <laughs> sheep bonus card out. Okay, so what's going to happen? I've got all of these tools. They want to be used. I don't want to use all of my rye to move the brew house again. I could do flax and wool again to move the manufacture. So that's going to be two tools the boulders and then I could do barley and rye and the last tool to do the bakehouse I could now move move a craft building with my six fields or I could move some more boulders move up to three boulders here now I'm gonna hang on I feel like I'm hanging on too much I'm hanging on Okay, so rearrange the boulders. So some of these have moved quite a way forward, but yeah, is that going to be a great thing? Okay, so round four is coming. So we're halfway through the game now. I think I'm going to leave it here for part one. I am going to play the whole game. So you can join me for part two. It'll be coming up on your screen very shortly. Or it's in the description now. If you don't want to wait a few seconds, see you there, everyone. Uh -huh.